Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you another privacy trick. Now today what we're talking about is front ends for both Twitter and YouTube. What we see on the screen here is we see us, the user, and our browser, and we usually connect directly to YouTube or to Twitter, and that means everything that we do on Twitter or YouTube, all that data, all those searches, all the history, Everything's collected and sold to advertisers. And I'm not too fond of all the privacy policies. And I wanted to share a trick with you guys that could help you surf YouTube and Twitter privately. So what we're talking about today is front ends. I'm going to demonstrate. I'm also going to show you an add-on how you can connect to it like a proxy server. And you don't have to do any work for this. You're actually going to have a simple to use add-on. First I'm going to demonstrate what this does. So if I go to YouTube.com, watch what happens. I go to YouTube.com and it redirects me. Well this is a front end that grabs all of the stuff that I'm doing for me. Acting like this proxy server here. So the proxy server, the front end here, will grab whatever page, whatever I'm doing, and it will be the actual front end user for me. So anything I'm doing to the actual page here will actually be done by the front end. And the same goes for YouTube. We can do the same with YouTube. And there's a add-on for Firefox you can use that redirects you just like this. So if I were to see some YouTube or Twitter links and I click on them, because I have this add-on, it will have a front end do it for me. And if you don't want to add this actual add-on to your browser, which is this one right here called Privacy Redirect, you can look this ad up in your own preferences in Firefox, or you can just click on the link because I'm going to leave all the resources for you right in the description. And don't mind this little warning here. It says it is not actively monitored for security. That's okay because it is an open source one. That doesn't mean there's no problems with it. You can check the source out for yourself, but it's been well reviewed by others. And at least we know other people are looking at it. So it's up to you if you want to use the actual add-on or not. I'm going to leave links to the actual instances as well. So if you want to look up things on Twitter without actually connecting it directly to your account or your IP address and you want to protect both your account and your IP address you can simply go to one of these many front ends for Twitter here and if you use Tor browser you can also use these to add an extra several hops in between and the end-to-end -end encryption between the Tor clients. So that's the Twitter one and we also have these ones called Nvidias which are for YouTube so that is what you can do there. You can either use these links or bookmark them, or you can add the actual add-on, which I find really convenient. You can also disable the add-on anytime you want to make direct connections to both YouTube and Twitter, but it automates the entire process for you. So every time you use your browser, you'll be able to click on YouTube links and Twitter links and look up whatever topics of interest without connecting it to your IP address or your username. And that's what I got today guys. I hope you found this helpful. If you want to support my channel you can go to buymeacoffee.com slash politictech. You can also read public blog posts there and I also have some, a couple private ones that I just did the other day for supporters to show my appreciation. And what I appreciate most is people who take the time to share my videos, like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Let me know what you think if you want to see something else. And for those who are waiting for the Tails operating system video, that one's taken a lot more preparation than I had planned. So I decided to do this video first, but that video is coming up in one of my next couple videos. So I will be doing the Tails operating system, the integrity checking, everything else that I think you should know about Tails operating system. So stay tuned for that. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll be back later with more on how to protect your privacy.